Hey everybody, just want to hit a little bit on the clothing in which we wear and which clothing is toxic and which clothing is very good for the body. Now, this goes back all the way into the ancient time, you know, when they basically they said, thou shall not mix linen with wool because of they understood the frequency of clothing at that time. And they started to know that there's certain types of clothing in which you can wear, which is very healing, such as linen or wool. Um, that's why if you go into a hospital bed or, or you're ever in a hospital, they actually have linen sheets so that they can heal you quicker. Um, so linen and wool are two of the top best ones you can be wearing, uh, or organic cotton as well. All of those res resonate at a certain frequency of over 5,000 hertz that actually start to heal the body. That's why when you start to wear, for example, linen, or you have like a wool blanket, it almost feels like home, you know, but because the fact of that material is so embedded into our DNA of such an ancient time of using those materials that they feel very natural and they're very healing. That's why when you start to wear, for example, linen, I'll put a linen blanket over you, you actually heal better, or I'm sorry, you'll feel better and you'll heal while you're sleeping. Um, you can look all this up. There's a lot of science with all of this. They've been doing this for thousands of years. They understood that. That's why back in the day, everybody used linen, wool, and uh, specifically organic cotton. Then we started to change things, right? Then we moved into more of the plastics, the polyesters, the polyurethanes, nylon, uh, rayon, you know, all these synthetic uh, materials. And these synthetic materials actually impact our health at the cellular level. Number one, they hold a negative static charge on our body, which actually can impact our health. It will actually attract EMF and attract radiation and cause us to build a static charge, which is actually detrimental to our heart, right? Because our heart is an electrical device. Uh, number two, they are very hard to clean, or when they're synthetic, they're very hard to clean. The scent usually embeds into them. That's why a lot of people with athletic clothes, for example, that are made out of polyester or polyurethane, they're very hard to wash. You can't get that scent out of them because it's embedding into the plastic and it's not possible for it to be washed out. And then number three, we have to look at the fact that it impacts the skin. A lot of people, if you're having any type of rashes or like maybe heat sensitivity in certain areas, it could be the clothing that you're wearing. Um, and also because of that static charge can also lead to restless leg syndrome. That's another big one. So make sure when you look at your blankets, your sheets, your clothing, you turn the label over and you look at what the actual thing is because a lot of the times in marketing they will advertise 100% cotton. You turn the little label over and you look at it in the tag and all of a sudden it says 60-40. So you have to be aware of all of the marketing schemes that are out there and these things because they impact our health. And same goes for shoes. If you're wearing plastic shoes, you're, you're, you're being, bringing a plastic frequency right into your soul, which is going right up into your body. And that can impact your health as well too. And then the last but not least, the other biggest thing about the synthetics is that they're, when you're constantly wearing them and you're getting hot in them, you're breaking down the plastic in which you're wearing and it's absorbing into your skin, which can lead to hormone disruption. And it also breaks down when you're washing it and leads right into the water. So it's interesting when you go back into time and you look at all the ancient books and scriptures and everything about how they talked about linen is healing, wool is healing, cotton, and all of the original ways. And in the last, about say, about say 50, 60 years with fast fashion and all of this non-sustainable um, clothing, that basically as we started wearing those things, we started leading to more health problems that maybe we didn't have in the past. So just want to talk about these little things. You know, I've changed these things, we've changed these things, and it's made a huge difference. Um, you know, especially restless leg syndrome, you know, if you're building up too much static on the body, it could be just the blankets and sheets in which you have on your bed and what you're wearing that are building up too much static charge, and you might need to switch to all cotton, all wool, or all linen. So, just want to hit that on a little bit on a tip for the day. If you guys need anything, have any questions about any brands in which we've used or, um, you know, would you like to have information about, just send me a message. Happy Friday.